All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Today, I've got some unusual EDC items. You know, I don't normally show these kinds of things. Like the uh, EDC videos that I do are usually more, you know, condensed of stuff with, you know, involving a gun, a wallet, and all that stuff. These are just some random EDC items that you can look at, and you'll get to see my reaction to them firsthand and what I think of them and why I have them. So... I'm going to pull you over here. Now, some of these that I'm going to show you are pretty common, and everybody knows about that particular item, but um, they're on sale. They're cheap items, you know. A lot of people don't know that, you know, the price has dropped dramatically for a lot of items. So I'm going to pull you over here, and we'll talk about them. Okay. First, I want to start with how this started. Now, a long time ago, I picked up a Lighter Bro. And I've had this lighter bro on, well, I've been using it on multiple lighters for several years. This one's several years old. You can tell it's got, it's worn. It's been in my pocket a lot and I've carried it around. And the scissors, this is a good point to make. Uh, the scissors have given me a little difficulty with, you know, passing over the other side a couple of times, but they still work you know I use them all the time and it comes with a very small this could be used as a pick you know I've used this when I smoke my pipes you know because I'm a pipe smoker you know because I've got all my pipes up here and whatnot you know I've got my pipes but you could use these to jab and pack you can also use them to pack and several other things you can use Instead of using the tool for that, which I have right here, this is a tool that I carry around with me. This is for pipe smokers out there. And that's to clean out the inside of your pipe. That's to pack your pipe. That's to punch the hole for a uh, breathe hole. Now, I carry this around with me. It's another item that I keep with my pipe. And I was also using this in the place of that butt these have been upgraded and that's kind of what I wanted to share with you today so we're going to bring this over here real quick now I got another item here that I'll go ahead and open this up with this this is a strange EDC item you've probably seen floating around it's called EDC it literally has the name EDC and it is a razor blade this is something that I use <laughs> believe it or not and I don't uh, I don't share it in my EDC collection because I don't carry it around with me. So this is, once again, it's an item that I don't carry around with me everywhere I go. Like this, I don't carry that around with me everywhere I go. But most of the times this stays at the house. Or it's in my get-home bag. But this item here, I use when I do my leather work. I basically, it's got a magnetic uh, piece inside here. It keeps it locked in place so it won't come out. And you just push it forward and it's a razor blade and that razor blade I stick it into the leather and I pull the leather around and I cut designs in leather with this that's what I use this for but if one wanted if one wanted something like this they're really cheap and I'm gonna put all this stuff in the drop down for those of you that are looking for weird stuff like this uh, but <clears throat> something like this you can see how small it is but if you wanted to replace your larger box cutter that people use for you know cutting up boxes and things like that at work all day long with something like this there you go you know something really tiny i don't know if i can zoom in on this thing i know a lot of people are going to want to see that but it's just magnetic that's how easy it works just like that but anyways this is something that i use just kind of here in my laboratory all right let me zoom in on this all right excuse me Get this guy. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out of the package real quick. Let's see how easy it makes. Makes my job doing weird stuff like this a lot easier. Having a little tool like this. Just destroyed that. Boom. All right. This is the Lighter Bro Pro. The replacement of this guy. This was one of the first ones they ever made. And as you can see, the side of this thing has nothing. There's nothing there. And underneath it's still a bottle opener. It's original. 
purpose for the bottom portion is to be a bottle opener, which it still is a bottle opener. Now, this, things have changed a lot. This is the Pro, all right? It's got all the details of every single thing that it does and gives you great for barbecuing, fishing, camping, everyday use, wilderness survival. I don't know about that, but sure. All right, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, you could, you could. Uh, uh, sunglasses repair, that's for the little screwdriver. And then uh, if you're skateboarding, it's got uh, it's got little chuck bits, little bits here for tightening up uh, different uh, things. Like if you've got a uh, if you got a skateboard or a bicycle, it actually has the right size everything for a bike or a skateboard. And tinkering and boating and of course partying. It's got to have partying on there. Uh, everybody needs a party, right? birthday parties, you know, bar mitzvahs. All right. <laughs> I'm such a dork. All right. So in the bottom of this, you'll see right off the bat, there is a, uh, uh, there's a tip down there. Let me go ahead and slide that out. That is a, uh, Phillips tip. And then the Phillips tip has a, a pin in it. You can see a little ball bearing, but that holds it in place. So you can actually utilize it and with this. So I'm just curious if it goes a certain way. Okay, so that's how you load it back in. So once you're done with it, you know, when you're tightening something up, then will it work with others? Let's just see. I got a ton of them here. Let me see. There's some different ones. Yep, fits perfect. So it doesn't matter. I can use this on anything. But not only that, you've got all these sections here with teeth for different types of screws. It doesn't matter what it is. It slips right in there and it's got teeth right here and you just get the bite and then turn it and it'll start to loosen it up. Uh, this one is for your larger nuts for say uh, a bicycle, a skateboard or something like that. It's got all those things on here too. A whole section, whole slide section here cut out to do the same exact thing and uh, that's for your smaller tips. And I keep I keep smaller tips in this guy, which I'll get to this guy in just a minute. This is something else I have I don't talk about. These are smaller tips. Yep, those work on this. So you could put those in place right there, and it would use these smaller tips if I needed to. These are just a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. Now, it does all this now, and you just put this back just like that. Now you've got your, they, they do have different tips like this. And then you've got your scissors. These are a lot different than the other ones. They feel different. All right. Maybe because they're new. Then you've got your blade. Very nice blade. Just like this one. This one has the blade too. Nothing's really changed much. Just a little bit about the blade. Eh, about the same. Still a good blade. I was always using it. And then, of course, you've got your uh, screwdriver again for that. Then you've got a ruler through here. I'm assuming that you could use that for, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know why they have to put that on there. It doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, there's that. And then, of course, the lighter itself. They made it so it's got enough room, I've noticed. You've got your keychain on there got enough room now so it stays like this all the time so it's going to look like this side by side so that way when you do need it for a bottle opener it actually is in the position already all the time and you've still got your bit in here for uh, to work a screwdriver as a screwdriver your screwdriver bit all right so there's that and moving on Next one, <laughs> they made a mini. Figured I'd share the mini. Let me cut this open. This is called the Micro. Same company, same thing. This is called the Micro. I like sharing stuff like this with you guys. I thought it was cool. I wasn't going to just throw it in my bag and forget it. Uh, not much difference. Uh, this is uh, seven tools in one. This one here is 18 tools in one. 
Now, the reason why this one is 18 tools in one, of course, it's got all these different slots that are used for different things. It tells you which direction to turn. It actually has a directional uh, engraving. It tells you which way to turn it. Anyway, so that's 18 tools for this one, believe it or not. And this one has seven. Now, the reason why this one has seven is because, once again, you've got different things that does. It does work. Where was I again? It does have the space to fit your tips so if you've got screwdriver tips laying around it will use them it does not come with a screwdriver tip this is a silver one i thought that'd be cool i'm giving this one to sippy it's miniature it's got to be for her all right but real simple stuff you've got all your things for that put your little lighter in there and it's got a notch in there to catch this just like that now this one if i took the tip out you know, I don't need to keep that in there. It would go all the way in, and there's a catch in there just like that. But I'm keeping the, because I it's got a tip in it. I don't want to lose a tip. All right, so that's how this will look. And you've got a nice little blade, just like the other one. That's really nice. That's actually uh, pretty, it comes really, really sharp. And then on this side, you don't get, it's kind of a flat head, but it's more like a spike. But it can still be used as a flathead or uh, or a Phillips either way in different types of tips because of the shape of it. But anyways, that pretty much sums that one up. It's really not much to talk about with that. But I did think that was nice. I just, the uh, lanyards on here, I'm going to remove that because I, I don't really need them on these. Now, next one that everybody was asking me about that was bananas. Oh, yeah, and it's still a bottle bottle opener as well. All right. Uh, this is the one that was the uh, lighter knife, and it's not the same company. This is uh, this one hasn't been around very long, but it does work as a bottle opener as well. I've been playing around with this one. It's already beat up because I've been carrying it around in my pocket, but I thought this was the coolest thing ever because I can use it with my paracord and stuff like that. You know, you've got, wait for it, got your knife this is your knife so you can cut your paracord thought it'd be cool to keep with my paracord and that's the whole purpose of this it was cheap it was super cheap and the blue one was 10 times cheaper so all the other you know you could get like silver or whatever or black but those costed more and i wanted the cheaper one so i went with blue color doesn't bother me so it's just going to go with my paracord but yeah you've got your lighter and then you've got your knife and then you've got a clip to clip it inside your pants, just like that. Not a lot to tell with that one. Now I got this thing, and this has been something I've been carrying around for a little while, and I keep it clipped inside my bag that I carry every day because I didn't want to carry something real expensive inside my bag because the it's more expensive stuff kind of stays in my on my person. This just kind of stays in my bag that stays in my uh, vehicle wherever I go. But this thing here, it has a lock. Uh, you just unlock it just like that and then spread it open. You've got your pliers. It does come back to you each time and you just lock it back in place when you're done using it. Uh, it accepts tips here. It accepts tips here. So you can do it like this or whatever. There's your tips. Let me just pop a tip out real quick. Bam. There's your little holding cell for all your little tips. Which your little tips will go here so you can it doesn't hold them that great but whatever it doesn't matter uh they work like that and then that's pretty much it for that but that's that's how that works that's with the tips and it does have a little knife not that you're really going to need it much but it does have a little uh little knife with it it does have an edge on it and the other cool thing that i thought about was pretty neat about it was uh, this kind of gets in the way, but it's all right. Uh, I have adjustable, you know, something that I can make adjustments and, and hold it in place. Uh, you know, there's always been situations where I actually needed something adjustable instead of something that grips and I've got to hold it tight and turn. So I needed something that could lock in place. And that's the reason why I'm carrying this thing. And it does have the clip. So you can clip it inside your pants. Uh, this was, I think seven bucks or something like that. I, 
these are, you know, usually about, you know, a 10 bucks or so, whatever, you know, I wouldn't show you anything that's like completely outrageous, you know, except for some of these items I'm about to show you right now. Now I found this, I already bought one so and light. I have one so and light already and I was kind of impressed with it and I put it in my boss bug out bag. So I was like, all right, I'm going to give them another try. So I got this so fern light and this thing is actually really cool. Now I'm going to compare it to another light. Well, I'm not even going to pull the other light out yet. I, I don't think I'm going to and compare it because it just, it's, um, it's so embarrassing to the other light. I've got a $70 flashlight and that is made by Streamlight and I compared my $70 flashlight to this flashlight that's like 19, 20 bucks, somewhere around there. And um, it was embarrassing. It was really embarrassing because this thing whooped its butt pretty quick. Now, uh, on the inside, let's just show you what, what we're packing here. This is your This is your batteries right here. Just for those of you that want to know. And it does take the monster, the monster battery. And it does come with a charger. So you've got a charger here. Just slide this over just like this. Boom. And then there's your cord. Plug it in and plug it into a charger. Just like that. But it does come with all that. And it does come with a wrist lane. I, I was more concerned about the light than I was all the other go-go gadgets that it comes with. But that's, that's cool and all. The cool part about this thing is... All right, this thing's cool. I love this uh, uh, this clip. But you got to kind of turn it around like this, like that, to keep it in your pocket. So you don't you don't want to bump the switch and start turning it on. But it's got your low light, just like that. Then it gets a little bit brighter. Now that's about as bright as my seventy dollar flashlight. But then it starts to get brighter, right? And then it gets brighter. <laughs> this thing is insane. But uh, I carried this outside and it was outshining that other light. And uh, it has other features to it. Let me just turn that off real quick. Let me try this. There it is. It has your strobe. And then it gets really crazy. But anyways. Whew. Man, it just it's crazy how blinding that is. Flashlights have come a really long way. But if you're curious, this is a, this is a so fern and I'll put this in the drop down as well. I thought it was really cool because it was just like, uh, you know, you're talking like 19, 20 bucks for a flashlight. There's, there's a ton of these, right? There's a ton of these. This is, this is solid. Uh, this is all solid aircraft grade aluminum. It's not anything cheap at all. Someone's probably going to say it's compared to another night to another flashlight that they know. But yeah, I can just flip this around however I want to peep it. But da, da, da. figured I would share. This is me sharing. Anyways, I thought that was cool. And I figured I would share it. Now, here's something I've had for a long time now. And uh, a friend gave it to me. And the reason why I'm sharing this, there's a reason. There's a reason to everything. All right, let me pull this out. Now, this is just the Gerber suspension. whoop de doo right? You got all your tips and stuff. You're like, whoa, that's cool. You got all your all your tips. Pull this guy out here, and then, boom, boom, and boom. There's your blades. You got this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here. If I can even get in there and get that guy. I always have trouble getting this last one out. There it is. You know how hard it is to get these things out. All right. It's so all that. And then, like I said, there's your blade. And you just put the, there's your saw. And you just push that guy back in there. And then this accepts this. And this accepts all those tips. I figured I'd share that real quick before I show you what's on the other side of it and i'll tell you how much this thing costs because it's probably gonna blow your mind uh so you better be wearing a helmet uh can opener there's your uh 
Get this guy out. Scissors. Those are always important. Everybody loves the scissors. There you go. Anyways, and you got a little lanyard in there too. But anyways, it's got your lock. So it locks them all in place. But anyways, the suspension because it does this, right? It does this. I always like that about these. It's kind of like what this one does. It does this. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this, and you know, it's like, dude, I've seen that before. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's, uh, have you seen it for 22 bucks? Have you seen it for 26 bucks? Because I just strolled by Walmart. Uh, I think two weeks ago, I saw it marked at $22. And then today I walked by, I figured I'd do this video and give you the warning, but I saw it marked for $26. So, uh, those of you that need a good name brand type of uh multi-tool this is marked up for 26 dollars so i figured i would share and that's me sharing so i thought that was cool all right that's my weird gadgets and gizmos for today my edc stuff uh i don't even know what i'm gonna call this video yet but i'll figure it out but uh just a bunch of random weird gizmos and gadgets and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that helps you save a few bucks so you're not wasting a ton of money on stuff. But if anything, like this thing right here is really cheap. And then, you know, a decent flashlight that doesn't cost a fortune. So I thought that was cool. But those items are great. And the lighter stuff, this this is actually going in my uh, fishing, uh, my tackle box. And me and the boy are going to do a lot more fishing this summer. So I'm going ahead and starting to get all my stuff together. And. This is something I want in there. I was going to put a lighter in there, a little knife and stuff like that. So this is going in my, my tackle box. But anyways, you're watching SOS. I'm South Star Bass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day and take it easy.